everyone, it's Jessica McGonnell, the principal here at the elementary school. So we're going to try this a little different this year. It was always hard to get everyone into the gym. So we're going to try doing announcements through a video. So if you have any questions though after this video with all the information or any other questions, just feel free to stop into the lobby or office area. That's where I'll be all night. Um, so thank you for that. So I'm really excited to start my seventh school year here at Upper Dauphin. Time flies, it's hard to believe it's been that long, but some of you have been with me for that whole seven years between a couple different kids. So um, I just wanted to go over a couple of changes for this school year, so I'll start with that. So first of all, we've had a couple staff changes. So some new teachers here are Ellie Weaver. She is our life skills teacher. We have Kelly Dietrich, which is a fourth grade teacher. She um, replaced Mr. Bluck when he retired. And then Camilla Leitzel transferred from first grade to second grade and replaced Kathy Haley when she retired. And then we also have Tammy Osanga that was our life skills teacher last year that is now learning support here. In addition to those staff members, we also have some new paraprofessionals. We have Rachel Zimmerman, which is our school secretary. Um, she replaced Diane Blyler when she retired. Some of you may have already had to speak with her for a variety of reasons. We also have Brandy Crum, which is our preschool teaching assistant. And we have Raquel Smith, which is a PCA in life skills, and Jody Smink Lanker, which is a classroom aide with life skills. Um, one of the changes that a lot of you have experienced already is our parent pickup and drop off. So it's been going very well, but change is always hard, so I know it was hard to adjust for some. Um, but for parent drop off, you should have received a paper, and the key change is that you will drop off and pick up in the middle school bus circle. So, and the other change is that dismissal is now at 3.30 instead of 3.10, and that is just because it gained us some instructional time, and it has the children sitting in dismissal areas for less time, which was kind of just wasted time for them. And just a reminder, if you're going to be having your child ride home with you, you need to let the school office know by two o'clock. So please send a note with your child in the morning or call us to let us know you'll be picking up or send a note and also call just to make sure we got the note. That's often not a bad idea either. Um, you'll also notice that there are now numbers on all of our parking spots. So all the staff have assigned parking spots. So we ask that if you come, you park in our visitor parking. If you can't find a spot in visitor parking, then we ask that you park in the open spots. So if you wanna write down these parking spot numbers, these are the spots that should be open. And that is any spot between number 58 and 65 or 68 and 74. So once again, that's between 58 and 65 and 68 and 74. If any of those spots aren't open, hopefully you can find an open spot or park somewhere along the road, but you may not park along the curb just because it's an emergency lane. And also we ask that you don't park along our hill and grass area because we have deliveries and buses and things that can't make that turn if you're parked there and we don't want to see anyone get hit. Um, another new thing this year is our safety patrol. So fourth graders could apply and complete an application for safety patrol. So this year, I think we have 10 safety patrols. We're really excited. Um, once again, this is something new, so we are learning as we start this, but it's great to see the kids have a lot of responsibility and help with the workings of the school and help their, their peers um, to make good choices. Also, parent newsletters will come home monthly. We have, you should have gotten one in September that looked like this and one will come home every month. We're gonna try to get them copied on orange paper so that you'll know what to look for, but I know you get a lot of papers, but these have great ideas of how you can work with your children and support them and their education. Um, they're not specific to our school, but they are a lot of really great ideas. So please look for those monthly. Um, and then also we have a Facebook page. So the school district has a Facebook page, Upper Dauphin Area School District's page, and that is announcements and events for the entire school district. And the elementary school tries to post things that are sent home sometimes that are really important. For example, I think the reminder about open house was posted on the Facebook page, just because we know that, like I said, a lot comes home in the folders. We thank everyone that cleans out your child's folder every night. 
but we also know a lot of people are on Facebook, so that's a way we can communicate with you. And also the PTO has a Facebook page that you that is also a great resource. And speaking of the PTO, if you haven't joined our PTO yet, I do encourage you to do that. It's a great group of people. They provide a lot of things for our children. And just in case you don't know what they provide, they pay for all of our field trips. They pay for yearbooks for every child. So your child gets a yearbook at the end of the year and that's provided by the PTO. Um, they get t-shirts for kindergartners and they get a gift for the fourth graders before they leave the elementary school. And they also provide a lot of other teaching and learning materials to the teachers as they request them. Um, we really couldn't do it without them. They're an amazing group of people. So thank you to all of you PTO members out there. And thank you to all the parents that haven't joined yet, but you're going to join and help out. Um, speaking about that, just a reminder for volunteering that please make sure you have your clearances in. Even if you volunteered last year, you still need to be approved by the board. So you need to call Lisa Adams, 717-362-6553. That's 362-6553. Lisa Adams, and she can tell you what you still need or if you just need to get your name back on the list. So definitely check with her if you're interested in volunteering. In order to come into the school and volunteer in any of the classrooms, go on field trips, help with Grandparents Day, anything, you need to have your clearances. And that's just for the safety of all the children and they are free now. Uh, you don't need your fingerprints unless you've lived in the state for less than 10 years. And please also remember the handbook went home with all your children, second through fourth graders. The handbook is in their agenda. And kindergarten and first grade, it came home separate. I'm pretty sure it had an orange cover on it. Um, attendance reminders, please remember if you can call in the morning to give us a heads up that your child's gonna be absent, that's ideal. Um, and just if we're not in yet, maybe you call really early before we're even in, just leave a voicemail with your child's name, their teacher would be great. And then if you want us to send homework home with anyone, you can leave that on the voicemail also. Um, if your child is absent, make sure to send a note in with them within three days. If we don't get the note within three days, unfortunately, through state attendance code, we can't excuse the absence. Um, each child is allowed three unlawful absences because there are situations that come up, but we, and we really want your child to be here every day if possible. Of course, if they're not here, they can't learn, so we really would like them to be here. Um, and also tardies, if your child arrives after 825, there won't be any staff at the middle school bus circle, you, so you will need to bring them around to the front of the elementary school. And when you bring them around here, we ask that you park and walk your child in so that you can write a note um, explaining the reason for their tardy so that we can keep that on file. Um, and the last thing I have is to just remind you that we are a Title I school and you will be getting information home throughout the school year about Title I. And just so you're wondering maybe what that is because it used to look different, um, we have been school-wide Title I now for I think six years and that just means that 40% or more of our children receive free and reduced lunch and because of that we get government funding and that government funding allows us to purchase a lot of resources, materials, it does pay for staff members. Um, so it is very important that everyone completes those free and reduced lunch forms. Plus, we really want everyone to be able to take advantage of that program that can because we do have great school lunches here. And if you can qualify for that, I really encourage you to fill out that paperwork. Um, if you have any questions about Title I, about anything I've spoken about or anything else, like I said, I will be in the lobby or office area. And um, if I'm not there when you get there, just wait for a little bit and I probably just had to run somewhere and I'll be back. So thank you everybody that came tonight. Thank you for being involved in your children's education. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. We are a team and if you ever need anything, please always contact your child's teacher or feel free to contact me anytime. All right, thank you.